Hey folks, welcome to The Save State, a channel about all the things that you love in nerd culture. My name is Johnny Klein, I am joined with Mr. Seth Layton and Mr. Dirk Owen, and today we're going to be talking about Halo 5 Guardians. Now, uh, I've done all the Halos, I'm sure you guys have done all the Halos. Did you guys get the Master Chief collection? I did. So it is engraved in your mind, you have Halo in your gourds right now, right? Yeah, in my loins. In my loins. <laughs> so, I can, can I be in his loins too? Yes, obviously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so, um... Okay, so with the with the Master Chief Collection, you also get a multiplayer beta for Halo Five Guardians. Yep. Have you guys both been into that? I think I'm the only one who's played that. So. Okay. I well, not, he, well, he watched me. I've play watched him play, but I've not played it yet. Okay, no. so this is the first uh, actual next gen Halo that's mm -hmm. coming out. Uh, graphically, you see a big difference. Um, right now, the graphics are actually subpar. Like all the character skins are like close to 64 bit. I would say. Really? Yeah, they're not in game. Everything is really. Like when you're not when you're not paying attention to everything, it, it's it's fine. But when you're looking at the characters, whenever the game's loading up and whenever the game's ending, then it's uh, interesting. It's very very noticeable. So but compared kinda, to so like... it, it, all it is is they're just trying to you know they're throwing the game out there as soon as possible. But it's it's very noticeable. It's so compared to compared to Halo Four, which had incredible graphics. For I would the, say it's the it's lower than, than Halo Four right now. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've definitely had a lot on their plate lately with all the issues with Master Chief Collection, mm -hmm. and I don't think they wanted to risk delaying the beta. So I yes. think it was pick one or the other. Have you been able to find mm -hmm. matches? Because that was a, that was an issue when when Master Chief Collection came out was the the, the matchmaking. Um, I would say I have a much easier time finding matches in uh, the the beta than I did in Master Chief Collection for the first two weeks at least. But last night I had a big like thirty minute part where I couldn't find anything. It was just, he kept popping up messages saying there was errors with the server, your Xbox is having problems loading into the server and whatnot. I've so. still heard of problems in the, the Master Chief Collection. It's gotten better, but I've still it's, heard of people having pro having problems to this day. Okay. Yeah, it's gotten a lot better, but... But it has gotten a lot better, for okay. sure. So, Dirk, remind us where Halo 4 left off. Oh, gosh. Um, I can't remember the name of the, the bad guy. I remember it was that giant orb and that... I mean, he was a cool bad guy, but it was, uh -huh. the, the story was more about Cortana, really. Mm -hmm. And Chief finally being more humanized. And that... Honestly, Halo 4 is probably my, one of my favorite campaigns so far. Because yep. we finally got to see Chief as more as just this silent hero. Mm -hmm. He got a little bit more personality. It was a great story. Yeah. And I really want to know what happens with Cortana. I don't want to have any spoilers, but... Things aren't good right now. <laughs> no. no. And I, yeah, no. I'm, I cannot wait they're, for the story to pick back up. I think they're worse than good right now. I don't want to give any spoilers away. <laughs> I don't want to give any spoilers, but, but definitely not good. It's definitely worse than not good, I would say. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair enough. It's going to be a retrieval on the way back. Okay, so so that being said, what are you expecting? Because uh, you, uh, traditionally, Halo's been kind of a toss-up between the campaign, uh, campaign and, and the multiplayer. Multiplayer is a lot of fun, but you wouldn't have Halo without the main campaign. You know, doing co-op Halo campaign is is the reason I got into mm -hmm. the games in the first place. So, so campaign-wise, what are you looking forward to? Uh, I'm hoping it just brings back some of the feelings that I had when I played the originals. Because going through the Master Chief Collection was fun, but I mean, I've I've played those games. You know, I've, uh -huh. I put so many hours in those games back in the day. So I'm really hoping that. The Halo 5 will bring back the sense of nostalgia but at the same time the sense of newness that Halo 4 had. Yeah, Halo 4 was, was really good for that point. Like honestly, it had the best campaign that I've I've played in Halo since probably Halo 1 and 2. Halo 3 was was alright, but Halo 4 had something special to it. It had way more more feels in it. Mm -hmm. Way more feels. Yeah. And I hope Halo 5 has the same same thing. I'm looking forward to multiplayer because I play multiplayer more predominantly. Mm -hmm. But I want to be able to to feel it. Whenever I'm playing the campaign. Speaking of multiplayer, I in Halo 4 I couldn't help but notice that it was kind of going more in the Call of Duty direction. Is that back in Halo 5? I watched it play a little bit. I noticed that it's similar to Destiny, as in you see your squad forming mm -hmm. at the beginning of the match. There's a bunch of armor abilities. Like so it looked like you had the Titan Smash. Um, and then, but in Halo 4, my least favorite thing was probably the airdrop. So what is back and what's gone? I would say it's going away from the Call of Duty aspect. Thank goodness. There's no more like points to build up kill streaks mm -hmm. and drops for yep. weapons and stuff like that. It's more competitive based, but there's a lot of uh, a lot of armor abilities I'm not too okay. fond of. Yeah. It's not like you get to have a set out a loadout whenever mm -hmm. you you start the game. You get to pick your armor abilities like Halo 4. They're mm -hmm. just there. Okay. Like one is uh, one is that, that the ground pound that you yeah, were yeah, you, yeah. you were noticing. You if you jump up in the air and you hold the crouch button, mm -hmm. which is a terrible spot for that because <laughs> because yeah, Gandhi yeah. hopping is like the biggest thing that I've ever done in Halo. Yeah. And you can't do that anymore because you just start floading and you get a, a reticle on the ground, 
and then that's where you get to aim your ground pound. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even one-shot people if they're full shields, which is ridiculous, because wow. I totally smash people, but I get nothing out of it. And then there's another one, which is a terrible placement for it as well. Mm -hmm. If you jump up in the air and you click zoom in, you start floating. And you go, oh it's like slow God. motion. Really? So if you have a sniper rifle, and I love just jumping up, popping t kids in the uh -huh. face, <laughs> it doesn't work because you're just like, yeah. Oh gosh. It, it, is, is that is that an issue? Or oh, is it's that, a huge issue. Is that I, something you? Because I, I jump fixed? all the time. I jump and I scope in just to get some perfect angles. It's all about angles in Halo. So all these abilities are attached to one person, or do you pick one and that's what you have? You have all of it. Oh wow. Each person has that. And it's not that's like, crazy. it's just, I don't know. They shouldn't be in there at all, honestly, to me, because they're very underused and they just, they're more of annoyance than they are helpful okay. to me. Like cool. I've, I've used the floating jump thing maybe twice and it's actually helped me. But other than that, it's like, I'm, I do it subconsciously and it's like, really? This is, this is not what I want that to do. <laughs> So is it back to more of the classic style of Halo where it's all about map control? Oh, definitely. Just spawn on the map. Definitely, okay. it's it's all about map control. You can't in Halo Four. You could you know get the power weapons mm -hmm. every once in a while if you got the certain yeah, amount of points. Yeah, you get a supply drop with a sniper rifle. Yeah, you were set for <laughs> right set for a while. Yeah, yeah, or you get rockets. No, it's all about knowing the spawn timers of weapons and knowing the spawn timers mm -hmm. of you know how long people are going to be where they're going to spawn at. Although they do have a, the announcer announces the spawn time of weapons now, so you don't have to oh, memorize wow. that. Okay. They'll say sniper in 30 seconds, and there's big green spots on the map where the sniper and the rockets or whatever's on that map wow. will spawn in. Okay. So it's really easy to, to keep that mm -hmm. on a track. But it was like, I don't know, it's taking away some of the competitive edge to the game. Because yeah. if you knew when that, the weapons were going to spawn, and mm -hmm. if you knew. It is nice though, because now you don't have to spend the first week or two of the game just memorizing all the maps. Yeah. So that'll help a little bit. The, ma the maps are really good too. Like yeah, I'm enjoying I've, the maps a lot. They, they did they have a remake for midship for like the seventh time, but <laughs> it's really good. The angles are all different, so it's something new to get used to, but I'm enjoying it a lot. So this will be the the second game that 343 has done in the Halo series. The uh, first no. one being Halo 4. The first original game, yeah. They remade all the Master Chief Collection, uh -huh. but technically that was a remake. So yeah, okay. there's their second original game. Are you are you looking forward to it? Are you, are you glad that I, they took over? I don't know. It's kind of a toss-up. That's a tough one. All of That's my really tough all of one. my time playing Halo was was Bungie this and Bungie that, mm -hmm. and now three four three comes in. Yeah. And I'm not too happy with them for the Master Chief Collection right now. Was, honestly, that was really rocky. I expected yeah. it to be so good, and I was just gotcha. looking forward to play Halo three. And so I wouldn't. I would be Bungie being back, but three four three writing the script of their story. So that would be the perfect yes. situation. I would take that in a heartbeat. And yeah. the cinematics. Yes, hundred be percent. Because cool. their their campaign blew Bungie's campaign away. Like hands down so mm -hmm. yeah i have no problem with that cool well i'm looking forward to it looks like you guys are looking forward to it yes it's gonna be great um let us know what you guys think um if you like our channel please share it with your friends uh we're doing fun things every week two or three times a week and if you'd like to follow us for updates on twitter at the underscore save state uh thanks for joining us and have a great day see you guys bye everybody